All right, welcome back here to the Tap House Grill for our Tri-State Football 2011 Year in Review. I'm Greg Shoemaker, and with us tonight is the St. Xavier Bombers. They went 10-4 and this past season, made it all the way to the regional finals. Uh, first 10 win season since 2007. Uh, this group of seniors with me right here to my left, Griffin Dolly, the quarterback. Connor Hunley, the fine running back. Next to him, Nathan Gerbis. Uh, deep linebacker and Andrew Aaron, another captain on the team, defensive back this past season for the Bombers who had a great season. And uh, you know, guys, and I'll start with you, Griffin. Uh, a pretty long year, in fact, a pretty intense schedule. Let's talk a little bit about the schedule that you guys played. Three times in the playoffs, you played teams that you already faced uh, during the regular season. I talked to Coach Specht after that last game against Pickerington Central, and he said it was tough. What do you think about having to prepare so much for those teams a second time? I mean, yeah, it was definitely tough. But, uh, I mean, if I could go back, I wouldn't change anything. Uh, I thought it definitely helped us prepare for the postseason. And, I mean, any time you can play all these great teams that we did, it's just a great challenge, and I uh, loved every minute of it. Two years as a starter, you know, you get to play Colerain and you beat them twice. That's uh, got to feel awfully good. I mean, because that is the big rivalry in town. Talk a little bit about that rivalry and, and what does it mean when you go up against those guys? I mean, the Cole Rain game, the first Cole Rain game, was probably one of the craziest games I've ever played in. Uh, playing at their place, uh, they had some win streak going on. And, I mean, we literally had no idea what we were getting into. Getting in there, uh, they were loud, and, I mean, it was crazy. But, obviously, the Cole rain X rivalry is one of the greatest rivalries in Cincinnati right now. Um, for a non-conference game, and I mean, definitely it was uh, it was one of the greatest games probably that we played. You know, uh, to my right, Connor Hunley, the running back here at St. Xavier. You really burst onto the scenes three years ago in your first game against Colerain. But as you move forward, when you look at uh, the last time you played Colerain, what was the biggest difference for you at, at being a sophomore playing them again and then playing them again as a senior? Uh, you know, they're definitely the same team from sophomore to senior year. They're going to be good every year. And, uh, you know, just adjusting to the speed of the game a little bit for my sophomore to senior year, sort of seeing things a little better. But, you know, every year they're going to come out. They're going to reload every year. They're a great team. I'll get away from that a little bit. I want to talk to you about your coach, Coach Specht. Uh, you know, he's, he's been a great motivator over the years. He's, he's won, uh, oh, I think, 81 games now in his career in seven years. Talk about playing for him because he's very intense on the sidelines. Right, you know, Coach Beck, he'll get in your face when you need it. He'll, he'll yell at you, but at the same time, he's going to, you know, encourage you and, you know, tell, tell you you had a good job. And, um, you know, he's a great motivator. He's a great coach to play for. And, you know, we're just lucky to have him as a head coach. When you, you know, after that loss to Pickerington Central in the Final Four, it was a tough loss. I mean, uh, being up there and watching all you guys, uh, you know, Nate goes down midway through the third quarter. Uh, things just weren't the same. He had two linebackers go down in that game in, in consecutive possessions. Uh, he, he said to me after the game, he says, you know, Greg, if, if losing one game is, the, is, 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 is not the end of the world for these kids, uh, how... How quick was was it for you guys to bounce back, even though you lost that game? You know, I don't, I don't know if we'll ever, we'll ever really bounce back from it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was a great ride. You know, all season we had some great memories together, played in some great games. You know, and we don't really regret anything. And you know, just ending the season that way is not really how we wanted it. But you know, we played like a team all year and had a great time. Being a Division One first team All Ohio selection. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your recruiting before I give it over to Nate, and what's what are your college options looking like? Uh, you know, I'm sort of just going through the recruiting process right now. I got some offers from some D2 schools, and you know, go on some visits coming up in the next couple weeks and see what happens. Very good. To your right is Nathan Gerbis. I think you were one of the. Uh, were you co-athlete of the year in the GCL South? Yes. Yes, you were. And you go ahead into Miami. There's a lot of guys here tonight that are going to Miami with you. Um, before I get to your season, I want to ask you, when you look at that group of kids going to Miami of Ohio next year, it looks like a pretty stellar group. Can you talk about some of those guys and, and who you know uh, other than uh, Bryson, your, your teammate? Yeah, so I'm thrilled. Uh, I know a lot of great athletes are going up to Miami. Uh, Jameer Westbrook, uh, Josh Dooley from Mason. Uh, I'm very excited. I know uh, top recruits are coming into Miami and uh, 
as Coach Speck always says, uh, surround yourself with the best competition, and that makes you better. And that's what I'm very excited about at Miami because I will be forced to play my best with this great competition. When you look at some of the guys that were in front of you from years past, Luke Keekley, the uh, Stephen Daniels of the world, guys that were before you, do you ever get a chance to talk to those guys? Do they ever say anything, come back and talk to you about? Yes, playing? I do. Uh, they're my mentors. And, you know, from sophomore year, they, they pretty much carried me through this program and uh, helped me out a lot. Uh, just uh, how to play the game and uh, what to do respectively and just how to represent the long blue line. You had a big sack year this past season. I want to ask you, who was the toughest running back you had to go up against and toughest quarterback you had to go up against? Uh, well, first off, that wouldn't be possible without uh, my <laughs> defensive players, uh, defensive ends, uh, defensive backs. Uh, toughest competition. Uh, there's multiple teams up there. I mean, it, usually I, I like to go down to the GCL South and include Colerain. Uh, all those running backs are equal in, in my playbook. What about St. Ed's? I mean, they won the, the GCL South two years ago. St. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's is always a bear. Uh, biggest offensive lineman in the state of Ohio. Uh, it's a challenge, but uh, we like rising up to the challenge and uh, using our quickness rather than our strength to get around them and make tackles. Very good. Next to you, Andrew Aaron. Andrew, you're a cornerback, uh, defensive back, and being a captain, what does it mean to be a St. X captain? Uh, I mean, you, this going through a full year, uh, talk a little bit about what that is. Well, I mean, you just got to be a role model for everybody. I mean, the underclassmen, uh, even the sophomores. We had a bunch of freshmen come up this year. I mean, you just got to go to practice every day, work your ass off. I mean, in the end, just... <laughs> you got it in, oh, that's you? Loud. The, you got it in. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> just go 110% every day. How tough was it for you to have to sit out? And, and, and when you were sitting out because you were sick this year, uh, how did your role change? Well, I mean, everybody knew that I was sick and whatnot. And just show up to practice, work, all, work hard. I mean, just keep a positive attitude. And that's about it. There you go, guys. This is the St. Xavier Bombers. They went 10-4. and four. Final Four team uh, this past season in Division One. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. <laughs>